you ever seen those ads that promise you this great dream of traveling and working from home or working while you travel and all that with no experience needed? Well, the other day I did. And today I'm sharing with you how this seemingly innocent Instagram ad led me down a rabbit hole of false promises and dare I say it, scams. And don't worry because if this work from home slash work from anywhere lifestyle is a dream of yours, make sure to stick to the end so you can learn how to avoid the scams and the MLM traps of the world while still building the career of your dreams. A legit monologue at that. But back to that ad, I was just casually strolling through my stories when this popped up. It said, looking for aspiring digital nomads, travel, learn, create, thrive, no experience needed, be different, be you, get in touch. It was well designed, it caught my attention, so I clicked the link and I was taken to this website that reads, are you a kind-hearted you human who wants to impact the world around you? Do you want to create a life where you can focus more on your passions, a life where you get to travel and connect with different cultures? So far, yes to all of them, I guess. But let's see where this is headed. Do you dream of making an online income, affording you the flexibility to work from anywhere whenever you please? Then this business opportunity is for you. Let me show you. Again, so far so good, it seems like it's talking to me directly as someone who loves to travel. But I gotta say, at this point, something is starting to smell fishy. A lot of promises are being made here. So my big question is, will we live up to the hype? It then takes me to this page with a bit of information about this person, a lot of which, again, I can relate. We're both from Europe. We have a background in arts. We love to travel. Of course, I was happy to fill out her two-minute questionnaire. And then I waited until I eventually got a DM from her over on Instagram. So she said, hey, hey, Sylvia. I'm so glad you reached out to me through my questionnaire. Thank Thank you for taking the time to answer my questions. My name is, I don't know if I'll keep her name. I do not want to personally attack this person, but moving on. She said, nice to meet you. How are you? It was a pleasure to read your answers. It's clear to see that you want to live a life where you get to create freedoms for yourself and follow your passions. Before I give you a lot more information about what it is that I do, I would like to ask one more question. I see your Instagram is focused on freelancing. Do you have any other parentheses online business experience too? To which I responded, I'm all about online business, right? I'm a freelancer. I sold courses online and other digital products. I've also sold stuff on Etsy. If you don't know, I tried that for a while. So it's true. It's just likely not the type of business experience she's about to pitch me. She then says, thanks for getting back to me with such openness. I really appreciate it. This can really come in handy during your new entrepreneurial journey. I'm very happy our paths crossed. I would love to dive straight in so you can get an idea of what it is that I do. Sound good? Now, let me quickly highlight a specific tactic that I see is often used with MLM pitches, but also coaches that get in your DMs, you know, business coaches, life coaches, whatever. You can see here, she's repeatedly asking for permission in a way to just tell me more or send me stuff. This essentially is meant to kind of get you in a pattern of saying yes, which I guess can make you more likely to keep engaging in whatever it is that they throw at you. So I say, sure. And she continues. All right, let's do it. I work as an independent distributor alongside a Japanese company that pays me high commissions for marketing. As distributors, we aim to spread the mission of the company through health, a health, body, mind, and finances, along with reducing plastic waste. You don't need any experience. We have training platforms to help you get started in a supportive community of like-minded distributors. You also get a one-on-one -on -one coaching from me, so you'll never be alone in this entrepreneurial journey of starting your own sustainable business. Everyone in our community is pursuing their dreams. For example, I aim to travel sustainably, connect with artists, volunteer, and build a network. Eventually, I want to live in a place with an art studio and a well garden, living as sustainably as possible. This business model supports so many dreams and can do the same for you. This is just an overview. I'd happily share more if you're open to learn even more. You can see here again, she's asking for permission to share more. She's saying this is just an overview. I'd happily share more if you're open to. And at this point, since I'm an avid watcher of anti-MLM content, I love watching Hannah Alonso, CC Suarez, Isabella Langer, The Adamans, Savannah Marie, 
I had a hunch this may be a bad magic since I do believe they are a Japanese company. Correct me if I'm wrong. And their product is definitely high ticket. They sell those, what's it called? Kangen water or Kangen water water filters. But at this point, I'm so invested in it that I'm also already thinking of making this video. So I respond, oh my God, that sounds like the dream. Ha ha, it's only missing the animals for me. That wasn't a lie at all. It really resonated with me. I guess I just fear what's coming next. And that is, oh, I'm so happy to read that you're aligned with what I've mentioned. Glad to hear you're also someone who loves animals. I love them too. Grew up with them and can't envision a future without them. The garden that I talked about would also be filled with rescue animals for sure. I would love to give you more info so you can get started right away working towards your dream. The info would be through a video. It's a video in which I explain more about this business model and the products we work with. After you watch the video, I would love to schedule a video call so we can talk about it in more detail. This way we can get to know each other better and we can see if we're a good match to work together. If I send you the video, well, do you have time to watch it so we can schedule a call sometime next week. Now, another thing I'd like to point out, apart from her asking permission to do whatever all the time and permission to send the video, I mean, why wouldn't you just the link, I guess? It's the fact that all these messages with all the double line breaks, it just screams, this is a template that my upline got me and now I'm pasting it to you with a little tweak to make it match your answers. But yeah, I said I should have time over the weekend and she finally sent me the goddamn video. She said, great, you can find the video on my website as well as extra information to read through. When you fill in your details, you'll get access to it straight away. And when you're ready, you can book a video call through this link. Let me know in case you can find a time slot that fits you. I'll see what I can do. Enjoy the video. I'm excited to meet you during the video call, Sylvia. Now, I don't know why I was surprised, but in order to watch the video that's positioned as a free webinar, I had to submit my email. But I just put my old one. And now I think let's just watch it together, shall we? I did skim through the beginning. I thought it was more fun to share with you and watch it together and react to it on camera. So cue the video. Welcome to the studio. I'll about starting a sustainable online business. Let's dive straight in. So I want to ask you five questions. More questions. And I feel like some of these are some of the ones she already asked, but let's get going. Who wants to have a positive impact on the world around you? Do you want to create a life where you can focus more on your passions and help others to do so as well? Do you want a life where you have the option to travel and connect with different cultures? Do you dream of making an online income, affording you the flexibility to work from anywhere, wherever you please? Uh, and do you want to start working with a company whose products and missions you actually believe in and support? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then let's go. I find it interesting that she doesn't say if you answered yes to all of them, you only have to answer to one of them, I guess. Firstly, you might be wondering who is this stranger on the internet? Let me quickly introduce myself. I am an artist, art historian, and language enthusiast from Belgium. I come from an art background, so I studied art science and archaeology and fine arts in university. But you can say that I'm a busy bee. I like challenges. I spend most of my time learning new things, either a language or a random skill. This this is why I say, like, I don't believe this person is a bad person, or at least, you know, I feel like they could be my friend, you know? I feel like if we met in real life, or even online outside this context, we'd probably get along because we have so much in common, but this is not about her. It's about what she's promoting. I've been studying and working at the same time for many, many years. I was saving up money to travel. Uh, I was spending the money, going to work again, to save up some more. I was being stuck in this constant cycle of earning and spending. I wanted to really be free to focus on what I want to do in life and not being stuck in this loop. Um, I'm really passionate about connecting with new people. I just love hearing stories. They inspire me. They're just nice to listen to. And talking about passions, let's quickly talk uh, a bit more about my biggest passions and also my biggest reasons why I started my own online business. As you can see, these are the main four ones. I have art history, sustainability, languages, and sustainable slow travel. So let's focus on the first part, art or art history. I travel for art. It's that simple. I want to see as many artworks for my books in real life. I really want to be able to fangirl over all of these pieces. I also want to have a studio space to create, and I want to financially support struggling artists. I am building a team of creators, a team with who am able to travel, visit museums, and really connect with. I want to give back to communities through art by creating workshops, building spaces for people to be free, and also let their inner creatives loose, which is super nice to see. I also have a huge passion for sustainability. I focus on less plastic use, and I don't eat meat. Besides that, 
I also try to slow travel whenever I can. But time and money are very important here. They also limit us in doing this. And I have this huge dream that in three to five years time, I plan on buying a tiny piece of woodland with a tiny home or either renovate an abandoned small building. And this will, of course, come with a studio space and a little garden. Um, and eventually I want to grow a tiny home community. And I just want to be able to live as sustainable as possible. Again, this fully relates to me. I love traveling, as you've probably seen if you followed me on Instagram. Um, I'm actually packing for a trip right now. And I don't have the goal of growing a tiny home community, but I would love to open a hostel because I love to travel as cheaply as possible. So I love staying at hostels. I love the community aspect of it. Uh, I love that some of them have like little co-working spaces. We have a lot in common. I would actually really like to meet this person. Who knows? I'll travel to meet her sometime. Uh, that could be cool. But anyway, let's keep on watching. As I mentioned, I also have a huge passion for languages. I am a language enthusiast, which means that my life goal is to be able to speak 10 languages fluently, which includes Korean, French, German, sign language, Japanese, Swedish, and the rest. I don't know yet. <laughs> I believe that through languages, you get to connect on a deeper level with people. Words have such a amount of power, and it's just very important to use them as well. Again, totally relate to this. I wouldn't say my goal is 10 languages. I would say probably five. Portuguese, my native language, English, and I'm currently working on Spanish and French. Those are my four right now, maybe fifth. I would love to know sign language, actually. I think that's super cool. Japanese could be cool as well. Oh, Italian. I would love to learn Italian. Moving on. So sustainability is something that I mentioned before and slow travel as well. I am a huge fan of slow travel. I like having the experiences. If you slow travel, you get to experience the places to the fullest. You get to talk to uh, strangers on the bus or on the train. You can carpool, you can talk to people on the market, which is super nice. And I also love taking a bus and train everywhere. It's the perfect reading spot, which is also something that I love to do. Besides all of this, I am a true introvert. I struggle with social anxiety sometimes. Um, and that's why I also need to be able to slow travel. I want to be able to take the time to have a good balance between experiencing the place that I'm at, but also taking some time off and really listen to my body so I can recharge my energy. But <laughs> enough about me, let's dive deeper into what this business opportunity is all about. So what do I do? I work in network marketing. So I partnered up with a Japanese company whose mission is true health. I'm going to pause it again. Sorry. Network marketing. It's another name for MLM, multi-level marketing, network marketing. Yeah. It just confirming my suspicions. Let's continue. But what does this mean? They really want to give back to people to get the, the opportunity to gain physical, mental, and financial health. The company also focuses on sustainability and reducing plastic waste. And, and as a distributor, I want more people to know about about the company's mission. By working alongside them, they offer me the freedom that I need to inspire and help others. Although I never expected to enter the marketing world as an artist, I do see that this business goes beyond product sales. It's about changing lives. It's about creating a bigger impact on a bigger scale. And it's also about creating a genuine connection with people, building mutual trust by working together to realize our dreams. And why did I choose this path as an artist? As most of us, I worked in the nine to five system, but it took a huge toll on my mental health and not my creativity. I also had a bad depression for many years. It already started when, it, when I was in uni and it got worse when I graduated. I didn't want to be surrounded by negativity anymore. Every workplace that I've been in has a lot of negativity and I knew I wanted to do something different. I wanted a, a way to give back to people, connect with people and live life at my own pace. I wanted to have a bigger impact on the world. What's the solution? A deep dive into the internet, of course. After a long search, I stumbled upon a company that aligns perfectly with my values and I absolutely love the products. I also love helping others. I love the sustainability part and the overall well-being. These are the basic needs that we need in our lives, right? And we're Working alongside this company has given me a freedom to dream big again. But what is network marketing? I bet you're already involved with network marketing without even knowing. Imagine the situation that you just bought something new. You're meeting up with friends. You bought the bag or a book. You see your friends and they get super curious about this new object that you would take. So they start asking you. She's telling us about how we're already involved in network marketing. We just don't know about it. And she's giving the common example of you buy something, your friends notice it and they ask you where it's from and you tell them they buy it and you don't get paid for it. I guess we can say that's probably network marketing, but then network marketing couldn't be linked to multi-level marketing because there are two different things, you know? So yes, we may be doing a network marketing in the sense of we're recommending things to people in our network, but we're not doing the multi-level thing. So that's where the difference lies. So there is traditional marketing versus network marketing. What is the difference? So in traditional marketing, the company works with employees and promotes the products via traditional advertising and marketing strategies. So they invest a lot of money in this marketing and they pay their employees for 
spending their time to help them with this. Network marketing, on the other hand, it's different. So a company partners up with independent distributors. So these are all people who are super excited to share a company's vision or product and share it in their own authentically. So the company doesn't invest in marketing. They use the money to invest in their distributors. They pay them for their input through commissions. With network marketing, when a company decides to not spend money on the traditional marketing, they are able to pay out 57% of commissions on every sale to their distributors. This means that the distributors can earn up to 4,560 euros per sale, which is crazy, right? She hasn't mentioned it yet, but if we can earn up to 4560 and that's a 57% of the total sale. How much is this freaking product? Like 10,000 euros? That is crazy. I'll give you that. There's also other names for network marketing. You can also call it. Please don't. Sorry to pause it again so soon, but don't call network marketing, social media marketing. Don't degrade the name social media marketing. You're already degrading the name network marketing and digital marketing with the MRR kind of courses. That's a whole nother scheme, but do not degrade the term social media marketing. I am a social media marketer a legitimate one, okay? So do not, do not, do not do this. Social media marketing. So by using social media, you don't have to hassle your family or friends to buy a product. You can target your ideal audience and people will come to you. They will want to know what you are offering. And besides that, you can also call it high tickets. Affiliate marketing. They typically make the correlation with affiliate marketing and there is something there because affiliate marketing, you're typically sharing something in exchange for a commission, but this is more than that. It's like saying it's network marketing. It's not just that. It has have that multi-level thing and that is where the problem comes from there's no problem with network marketing no problem with affiliate marketing but when that becomes a multi-level thing that's where the problem comes from and that's why she's talking to us is it's because it's not an affiliate marketing thing it's because it's a multi-level thing and by getting us into this affiliate marketing or network marketing she will make more money so that's where we have a problem what products do we work with so the products are medically great they require a detailed explanation which is provided in the training the products are high and sustainable. So if you're passionate about health, about sustainability, chemical free living and plastic waste reduction, then you will love our products. There are two types of products on the market. You've got the low ticket and you've got the high ticket. So let's focus on low ticket first. This is not the products that we work with. Low tickets can, for example, be makeup or juices or other things. You need to sort them in your house. So you have to spend a lot. She's lying. Okay. But she's not like a hundred percent lying because there is some truth in this. There are MLM companies like LuLaRoe where you did have to store your shit in your house, in your garage or your office or whatever in the middle of your living room but that's not the case for all of them i would argue probably not most of them in this day and age people just buy directly through the website but through your links so you get the commission so it's not that low ticket you have to store in your house and high ticket you don't there are of course some low ticket you do have to store in your house and probably high ticket you wouldn't have so much of that problem but there's not like a, a direct correlation i just wanted to clarify that so you have the full focus on this job and there is no time left and also she's saying you'll need to sell 100 plus yes but it's easier to sell a five dollar lipstick than it is to sell a 10,000 apparently water filter. There's also that. Let's say that the commissions for one product is between five and 50 euros. So you need to sell more than a hundred to make a monthly income. With the high tickets products, on the other hand, you've got high value as well. So these could be cars, health systems, and so on. You don't have to store them in your home. The company does all the distribution. The commission for one product is between 400 and 4,500 euros. There is a huge effort with the low tickets. So you only need to sell minimum one for a monthly income. But this business opportunity will help you start your own business. And to be completely honest, these words both excited and scare me. I didn't know if I was able to do this. I had no prior experience in marketing, but then again, nobody who started this actually did. The training platform and the support of the community helped me a lot. And of course, the, the support of my lovely coach, Julia. Besides this, I also believed in myself. I, I never fit into the work structure we know. There was no challenge. And if I look back on my, my life, every change that I made was just because I got bored. Because I felt unchallenged and unfulfilled with where I was. But what does this mean, starting your own business? You will be able to work alongside the company and you can choose how to promote the product. The business is not only about selling, it's also about serving. It's about changing lives and connecting. If you look at my Instagram, for example, you don't see me pushing the product onto people. I don't want to be a pushy salesperson. The only thing that I do is share my passion and show how my life is changing through the opportunity. I am growing as a person. My Instagram is my visual diary. I'll give her that. I do this too. I try not to push the products as much. My products, you know, I try to share what I do and who I am and what this freelancing lifestyle is all about. But that being said, she's saying that we're starting our own business. And again, that's not the actual definition, but you know, let's move on. I am curious to see when she actually mentions what the company is. It's fun for myself to look back on and just see how much I've grown. So how do you create a successful network marketing business? As with any business, there's always an investment. No restaurant or a coffee shop starts without one. I will refute that. If you want to start as a freelancer, you don't necessarily need to invest anything. You may need like to account for some fees here and there, but you can start for free. You don't have to <laughs> pay for a website or for whatever. You can start for free with people you want 
already know, get their testimonial, go from there. Again, I'll talk about it in the end, but this is not 100% true. It's also not 100% lie. There's an investment in rent, in products, in ingredients, in staff, and so on and so on. The same goes for your online business. You will invest in the products that you work with, because how can you sell a product with a passion if you don't actually use it, right? Everything about the finances will be explained in detail in a discovery process. It's a one-time investment for a lifelong earning potential, but it's not only about investing money. And it's also about investing time and energy. This is a legit business. It's not a rich, quick scheme. So if you're here for that, then you can just stop this video and just go on with your day. It's important to show up every day. So some days it could be 10%, some days it could be 100%, but as long as you're there and growing, that's the main thing. You have to find a good balance for yourself. So you find a good system, the right mindset and the discipline. You start overcoming your limiting beliefs and you make short-term sacrifices for long-term success. The more you learn and implement, the faster you grow. And besides, continuous learning is fun, right? Imagine this, you've got time freedom. You are able to be your own boss. You can create your own schedule and you get to focus on what you want to prioritize. You also get to spend more time with your loved ones, with your family, with your animals and so on. You also have more time for your passions, for traveling, for a learning new skill, to focus on your arts. You also get location freedom. So imagine being able to just work from anywhere and the only requirements are having a laptop or a phone and a good Wi-Fi connection. And then the third thing, imagine financial freedom. This is part of the long-term vision. So no business is successful from the start. You need to learn the ins and outs and you need to start from scratch. Being real here, you'll earn as much as the amount of work that you put in. So if you really invest your time wisely, you'll grow faster and faster. And of course, I'll be there to support you every step of the way. This is not necessarily true. Again, making the comparison to freelancing, I do have all these benefits that she's talking about, the time and location freedom, and yes, the financial freedom as well. But I do get paid for what I do. As a freelancer, you typically work in one of two ways. You either get paid by hour, so every hour you put in, you get paid whatever amount you decide and a client agrees with. Or if you're like me, I now get paid for every deliverable I do. So if I record, say, a video for a company, I get paid a fixed amount. If I publish that video on my social media, I get a different amount. If I work with a brand every single month or hundred all their content on social, I get paid a fixed amount and that is for the amount of posts I do, not the amount of sales I do. In the world she's in, she can be posting all day, every day, like 10 times a day even. And you know, social media, it's half luck, half talent. This is just key business. I'm sorry. I, it just, it just is. My biggest reason for starting this was the mental freedom that comes with it. I want to have the possibility to be free. I don't want to be numbing my creativity and I want to choose to create wherever I feel like, whenever I feel like. I also want to follow my truest self. I want to give back to others. Before this, I always felt powerless. I always had this feeling that I could do more. I didn't see how I could help others because I was living paycheck to paycheck myself. But because of this business, I started dreaming bigger again. I'm not at the point where I want to be, but I'm actively working towards it and I will have a bigger impact on the world. But what are the next steps. How does it work? At the moment, we are in the web class. This is where you get all the information about the business opportunity and you also get to know me a little bit more. The next step will be a discovery call. We will hop on a 30-minute call. We will get to know each other a little bit more and see if the business opportunity is something that aligns with your dreams and if we would be a good fit to work together. After this, you create your account. So you sign up to the training platform and the community and you can just start learning. And then after this, we also have a business setup call, which means that it will be another call with me and we will talk about the steps going forward. So we will create a strategy plan for you to grow. But let's look at the training platform. We created the discovery process. That's the name of the training platform. So people with no experiences can get the experience that they need. It will guide you through the whole world of network marketing, the business blueprint and the products. And you will also learn everything mm -hmm. about creating a business online. So using social media marketing, you will also get access to automated systems and structures that are already in place. You will get your own website, courses, mentorship, and so on and so on. We have to talk about this part as well. This is the community. For me, it was the best part of it all. This is what helped me the most. Of course, you could start a business all by yourself, but how nice would it be to have a group of like-minded people? We have weekly team calls, we have group chats, and there's also accountability partners and many, many more things. The thing that I like is that there is no competition. People actually support each other and everybody has their own dreams to follow. So that also means that everybody has different paths to walk around. And that's the beauty of it all. And at the time of this recording, which is the beginning of 2024, our community has over 900 members. So I'd like to welcome you as well. You will be able to follow your dreams and achieve your goals. Of course, the working spaces that you've known until now that you have a stable income, but does it really benefit your mental health that much? It's basically working for someone else's dreams while only following yours in those days off you get. But what does it all cost? It's 80 euros or 70 pounds. It's a 100% risk-free trial. So you've got the 14 days money guarantee back. You get access to the discovery process and the community. So there's hours and hours of content to consume and to really understand everything. If there is a moment that you decide it's not for you, then you just get your money back. My question is, should I buy this? Because we have a 14 day money back guarantee. Should I buy this and do a video on that? You've got two options. We can either schedule our first call. It takes up 30 minutes. And as I mentioned before, you will get to know each other. I will screen share everything about the discovery process and community, and I'll help you sign up in the training. Okay. I don't want to waste this girl's time for no reason and give her false hopes. So I'll probably not book a call, but I do want to talk to her. 
whatever. I'm so like divided. Or you can just get super excited and just get started straight away. Hit that button below and sign up and start learning. Okay, that was long. So hopefully I cut some of it down for you. But yeah, like she mentioned, it costs like 80 bucks to join this business thing. She didn't even say the name of it. I'm almost tempted to see what this is about, but I'll probably post this video first. All right. Now, if you watch this far, I did tell you I was going to share a legitimate way to make money from home or from anywhere while you travel, wherever it is that you want to do. If you haven't been here before, hi, I'm Sylvia. I've worked as a freelancer for the past 10 plus years and I'm still here. This is still my full time thing and I love it. I get to make my own schedule. I get to work from home. This is my home office. Here it is. And I get to travel whenever I want because I do not have to ask for permission. And while yes, it may seem that what I'm telling you I do, it's exactly what she's telling us she does, but it's actually not. Because again, like I said before, as a freelancer, I do not have to pay the company I work for. I work for different types of clients, but I do not have to pay any one of them before I start working for them. This $80 fee that she's asking for, never heard of it in the world of freelancing. I also get paid for every work I do, not just like the commission on the sales I make. And most importantly, what makes this a multi-level thing is I do not have to keep looking for other people that may want to do the same thing that I do. I do share that a lot here on my YouTube and in my course, but I do not have to share it with you. I am sharing it with you because you can imagine how many people over the last 10 years have asked me, how do you work from home? And I was like, okay, gotta get this out there in any way that I can. So that's why I'm sharing. I don't make anything from you guys becoming a freelancer. I do make a little small amount of money if you buy my course, but it's like 24 bucks at the time of recording. And that's like a drop in a bucket. But essentially as a freelancer, you work and you get paid. That's it. Now, if that sounds interesting to you, again, I'm not going to sell you on my course because if you just gotten into the concept of freelancing, I don't want to sell you a course right away. You don't even know if it's the right for you, but I am going to recommend you watch this video right here. This is all about how you can start your own freelance business. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments of this video. But anyway, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.